Well folks, it's the second final of the 2017 NCHA Lucas Oil Super Stakes and tonight it was the older horses showing what they know in the Open Classic Final. The man of the moment was Bo Gallion who rode Metallic Rebel and scored an exciting 229. Congratulations to you Bo. Thank you very much. So to tell us, describe to us what does it feel like to be the uh, Classic Champion? It feels really good. Really good. I'm, I'm glad to see you too. You said that um, you had a good feeling tonight. It was all going to come together. Yeah. How, how do you make that happen? Uh, you, that's that was probably the one thing of why it hadn't happened yet is because you can't make it happen. You you know, and I had a good friend tell me at the last horse show, don't force it. Trust the process. And um, you know, I had that in mind all week long. And um, the cattlemen's really helped me coming into this show know to just you know trust the process don't make it happen um, you know at the at the derby they um, got me for moving my hand and, and it was just because I was so into the run and, and trying to make it happen and you know I would have had a 226 there if that doesn't happen so I, I knew that um, the horse is capable and and um, you know the horse has great owner, owners that are very supportive of just do whatever you want Bo so I had everything on my side to you know just get the job done just stay out of the horse's way and and uh, just cut what we me Wes and Lee Francois thought were the three best available cows there and, and don't try to force anything. Your last win in the Will Rogers was nine years ago, the Futurity win in 08. Too long ago. So you could say it's been a long time between drinks, but you've made countless finals at uh, all the Triple Crown events. You've been reserve champion twice here at the Super Stakes. What does this buckle mean to you and how does it compare to the Futurity win? Well, I tell you, um, you know, it was a goal of ours after we won the Futurity, uh, me and the Folts and living in Amarillo, we put a lot of, of heart and soul into Metallicat and, and five years of of really trying to, you know, prove this stallion. And, uh, you know, kind of along that way, I forgot about myself and, and what it took to be, you know, as, as good as the competition is uh, to compete with him. And once I got this horse, um, all of a sudden he, he started reminding me. And uh, so, you know, we started. I started pushing and concentrating a little more and, and, and working a little harder. and um, So I'm blessed to have this horse because he's. I feel like that um, he's kind of that horse to really change my program for the better and, and uh, you know, kind of show that we're serious again and, and really love what we do. And um, so I just, I feel very, yeah, I'm in the zone, very blessed, great owners, great team. I mean, Matt and Taylor, they take care of us from, you know, sunrise to sunset. And, and of course, my wife, Ashley, um, you know. That's smart. Yeah, she's, she's truly amazing. Um, she gets that horse ready and takes care of me and tells me, you know, hey, you should maybe work in, and pin one this week and then that's what we did and and it's felt extremely good the horse has felt ready the whole time so i i felt we had a good shot all right so take us through your run tell us what was going through your mind at the time uh well i had the yellow hair for horns and the red slick and the uh yellow hair for horns was at top and as i went walking down there and and me and lee had talked about it too let's just you know, let's stay cool down there. And as soon as I was walking down there, the yellow hair for horns went to the back wall. Um, so I happened to kind of switch over to the red slick and she was down and just started walking out. Um, just like everybody talks about when you win here, just she just walked right out and we got behind her and cut her and, and uh, really wasn't into the run as far as into the herd or taking any time off the clock. So I knew I had to stay, you know, real cool and get back on uh, time management of the run so it, it worked out good Wesley said it on the second cow when we went to the yellow hair for horns that she had a little feel of, of was pretty gaugey so he was a titch worry but he didn't want to put any worry in my mind and and we were going after she was out on the outside and, and in a good spot and she started a little and then she took off and got real good and then uh, the last cow was real tricky and tough and and I was looking forward to hearing the buzzard what about on that last cow when the rain was stuck on the ear? Did that worry you? I didn't even know it was stuck on the ear. I was, I'm watching the, 
the cow. I'm not even looking at his head or ears. I just, I know he's on that cow because I'm on that cow, and I didn't even know it was stuck on it. Well, fortunately, it didn't take long. You know, it just um, sorted itself out. Um, so tell us a little bit about Metallic Rebel. Um, what, you know, what's the stallion like to show and, and train? Mm. I mean, he uh, he means the world to me. I mean, just like I said, I think he's he's changed my program. He's, he's changed my way of thinking, just getting me back into that you know, competitive, um, you know, and he just, he gives you a horse that gives you an opportunity to learn again as Metallicad did, you know, we were so full force with Metallicad and, and, and winning and, um, what's similar about them? They allow you to win. I mean, if you do your job, they put you in a winning scenario and not every horse can do that. And there for you learn, an ex a lot because you don't always win and so when you don't win you better learn and uh and those are the kind of horses that you learn a lot on because they give you that opportunity so they're different enough in that they they taught you to do different things as a, as a trainer and showman by the sounds of it yeah i mean draws matter you know you're you can't always force it you can't you know you can't always win and so you're just having to to be calculated with them at at all times and and they're such um, you know, extremely blessed animals. So. It, it must be satisfying to, you know, you champion one um, successful stallion and then its progeny is now successful. Yes, and, and I feel um, that Tom and Lisa are, you know, it's it, it seems like a very similar uh, scenario. You know, they're a lot like Alvin and Becky. They have a lot of trust in me and, and, and I think that's what allows us to do our job so well is um, when they give you that trust, you feel, you know, makes you feel really confident that somebody believes in you that much. All right, exciting to watch. It was a definite crowd favorite. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Appreciate it.